Welcome back to another Swift tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at how you can add a text field, otherwise known as an input field, to your iOS app. And of course we're going to be working in Swift, so let's get right into it. So first and foremost, let's fire up Xcode and create a new project. We're going to stick with a single view app for the purposes of this video. Give it whatever name you'd like and save it wherever your heart desires, in this case our desktop. And once Xcode decides to load, hit Command R, which will build and run our empty app on our simulator. Let's expand this Xcode window and start talking about text fields. So a text field, as you can imagine, uh, is a super critical part of any app to search something, to enter a comment on an app like Facebook, to type in an address for a Maps app, so on and so forth. So let's head to our storyboard. We're gonna be adding the text field in here. You can also do it programmatically, but we're gonna be adding it in here and working via an outlet to manipulate the text field and learn more about it. So let's start by changing the background color of this uh, view and let's make it, let's make it something darker so we can have our white text field on it. Let's make it that gray. Let's come up here and search for UI text field. Let's drag it on and let's apply some constraints to it. Let's say 20, 20, 20, and the height, let's give it a height of 55. Hit enter. Let's also add a button below here. And let's drag it in. Let's say, um, I don't know, let's say 10, 20, 20, 52, and let's also horizontally center this button in the container by clicking that and then horizontally in container. Let's head to our view controller. And here we're gonna create two outlets to connect to our button and text field so we can reference them in code. So we're gonna call it field, the UI text field. We're gonna call this one button and it is a UI button. Let's also create an IB action, which is what's gonna get fired when we tap the button. And let's go connect this stuff in the storyboard. So let's right click this. Whoops, let's right click the view controller and drag from the field to the field and drag from the button to the button and from our action to the button as well and in this menu let's select touch up inside and let's run this app and see what we get so I know I went through that kind of fast but I'm going to be explaining what all this jazz is so bear with me so if we click in this field we can see we get the keyboard and we can start typing right away cool we hit this button and nothing happens so a text field is any input field that Apple provides and it's highly configurable in terms of appearance but also functionality. We can notice when we clicked in this field we get a QWERTY keyboard uh, that's standard looking. We can also change it to be a the like number part of the keyboard so not like a number pad but it can default pop up with this view. Uh, like I mentioned it could actually also be a number pad if you want to enter in a phone number or uh, digits or a social security number or a credit card number. Uh, we can also change the return key type, which is this guy over here. So we can have this be a blue button that says done. It could be a button that says search. So whatever whatever uh, you need to fit your needs. And what else can we do? We can do quite a, quite a few things, actually. We can also manipulate properties like uh, auto-capitalize words, auto-correct, and things like that. So let's actually do that. So let's head back to our view controller. And let's, uh, let's do some stuff with this. So let's say field so dot return key type. And we can see we have a bunch of options in here. So let's do done. Let's also do field dot auto capitalize. Uh, and let's do words. In other words, every word we type, as it implies, will be capitalized, the first letter of it. Um, let's do field.autocorrection, 
type. And let's do, let's do no, so I'm an atrocious typer and can't spell. And I don't want it uh, messing up my shorthanded typing. Uh, let's see, what else can we do in here? So we, the field also, the text field also has a delegate, and uh, I'll get to that in just a second, but let's actually run this and see what we have so far. Cool, so if we start typing in here, the quick fox jumped, so we can see that every word is capitalized, the first letter of it. We can also see this button down here changed. When we click it, nothing actually happens, which is something we're going to resolve. Um, and in terms of autocorrect, let's just type in some gibberish. And we can know that it's not correcting, which is what we expected. So let's actually first talk about dismissing and uh, showing the keyboard. Uh, dismissing and showing the keyboard relates to a concept called the responder chain in iOS. And it's a pretty, pretty uh, rabbit hole of a topic. But for the purposes of this video, uh, what I want you to understand is we want to show the keyboard when this text field is focused and we want to we want a way to tell ios this text field is no longer the focus hence uh, make the keyboard go away and we do that by updating the responder which is uh, similar to focus so when we run our app if you noticed the field does not get focused by itself we have to click it for the keyboard to appear what if we wanted the keyboard to appear by itself what we can do is we can say field become first responder. And if we run it, we'll see that the keyboard appears right away. Now what happens when we hit, hit this done button? We want, in theory, the keyboard to go away. So what we can do in here, we can say field. Now you would imagine it's called dismiss first responder, but it's actually called resign first responder. And we can run it. Keyboard appears, start typing, and then we can hit the button and the keyboard disappears. Now let's run it one more time. What if we wanna start typing something and then we wanna hit the enter key, um, in this case on the keyboard here, and we want the keyboard to go away? Well, we can do that too. And we do that through the delegate. So the field that, like I mentioned, has a delegate. And we can see here it's a UI text field delegate. We're going to say that is self. Now it's going to give us an error because we haven't told this view controller that you're also the text field's delegate. So let's do that down here by saying extension of view controller UI text field delegate. And let's run the app. No more error, but we haven't really done anything. So if we hit the enter key here, nothing happens. So there is a function in this text field delegate that we could implement called should return. So the whole thing is actually text field should return instance of the text field, and we want to return it a bool. So we basically want to say, should this text field return? Uh, so we're going to say text field dot, whoops resign first responder, return true. Let's run. And we can type in something in here. And in this case, I'll hit enter on my laptop's keyboard, which is the same as hitting that button. And we see our keyboard goes away. So let's type again and hit this. And we see our keyboard goes away. Now, what if we want to hit that button and we want to check what the user has typed? Well, we can get the value that they have typed through a property on the text field. So we can say, let's actually say let text equals text field dot text. And let's go ahead and print that out like so. And this gives us a warning because that text might be empty, but we can ignore that for now. So let's come up here and type in John Smith, hit enter, and we see printed down here, we get John Smith. And it's wrapped in optional because like I mentioned, the user might not actually even provide text. 
So actually what we can do is if we don't want the user to be able to submit empty text, we can say if let text equals this, we can print it. And if we run it one more time, if we open this, if we see that we hit enter on this, nothing is printed because the user doesn't have any text in here. Uh, and we hit the return key. But if we type in something and hit this again, it gets printed out like expected. So yeah, those are the ins and outs of a UI text field. It's delegate and a few properties. You've also seen how to get the text out of a text field. If we hold command and click into the UI text field, you can see all of the various methods that Apple has provided for us uh, in here that we can use to get stuff out of the text field and manipulate the text field. So uh, yeah, those are the fundamentals of UI text field. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. If you liked it, hit that like button below. It helps out the video and the greater channel quite a bit. Subscribe if you're new. I do daily Swift software engineering and other uh, tech videos. Uh, thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.